Well, hello family. Welcome back to Kotoja Super Tone. Today's video, we'll talk about Monad. The airdrop that you have been waiting for is finally here with the launch of its testnet. And you can see right over here, it is officially live. Monad testnet is live and you can punch your transaction in the testnet to get the airdrop to be eligible for the future airdrop because this is going to be the most promising projects in 2025 just like Bira chain gave you money if you participated in the airdrop and get the tokens similarly this is going to make you a hell lot of money so without further delay let's jump right in let's talk about monad testnet and how you can participate and receive the much needed monad airdrop when the tg arrives so let's get started now before i begin like i always say please do remember to press the support and also press the bell icon if you haven't already and remember to click on the link below to join my telegram group right away so this is monad guys monad is actually a layer one blockchain just like other blockchains especially bira chain it is also a layer one blockchain bringing parallel execution with 10,000 tps which is transaction per second now everyone was waiting for his testnet for the last one year and this testnet is live today which is fab 19 and mine will be the first video that will take you through how you can participate in the testnet to be eligible for the future airdrop so this is how it is done so first of all, you need to go to this website, which is testnet.monadexplorer.com. Remember, I will share all the links in the description. So don't worry about it. Don't buy Monad token on any exchange. It is not yet listed. This is testnet. That means the mainnet token is not yet live. Just follow the steps that I'm going to show you because these are legit steps. So go to testnet.monadexplorer.com and here type in your wallet first. Enter your wallet address, especially EVM. I prefer using MetaMask for such transaction because that makes it easier. So copy your wallet address which will be right over here. Copy it up and paste it here just like I did. And once you search it up, you will see that Monad has already added a balance to your account if you have an active EVM wallet. Like in my case, they gave me 1.00432 token for this particular account. So this is how you can check your balance on Monad. Now the thing is that how to perform the test transaction. So for that, you need to go to this website, which is testnet.monad.xyz. And you can also find this link on their official Twitter handle, which is pinned right over here, testnet.monad.xyz. So go here and then connect your wallet. Once you connect your wallet, like I prefer using MetaMask, you can do with this too, because MetaMask is easier to receive the airdrop in future. Now after you connect your wallet, the first thing that you need to do is to enter your wallet address like here and get testnet token if you haven't got already. Okay, once you do so, you need to add Monad testnet. Click on add Monad testnet. And once you go here, there are two options. You can do it manually or you can do it automatically. So click on manually add network and you can see two options here. Either add it manually one by one by copying this or just click on this button add testnet to metamask so click on it it will automatically pops up your metamask and it will add the monad testnet by default look at here let me show you right here so in the, my case this is monad testnet it is automatically added you can see monad here and usdc here so i am on monad testnet with 1.004 monad token right here okay if it doesn't work if this button doesn't work you need to do it manually go here on the top left click here and click on add a custom network okay and just enter all the details and save it it will automatically add the token or a network for you this is how it is done click on continue once it's done and now go down here the job is done the foundation is set now you can actually play around with these things buy these things or you can go down here and actually interact with monad ecosystem now remember the goal here is to push as many transactions as possible on a daily basis like in case of bira chain i did around 200 to 400 transactions over a period of six months for both testnet v1 and testnet v2 so that's why i was eligible for bira chain airdrop and i got good amount of airdrop so likewise you need to push transaction. Let me show you one transaction. Go to Uniswap, which is quite familiar app for you. You can try any app, but I'm just using Uniswap for this time. So go to Uniswap and here you will see Uniswap. Now in this case, in order to see or do a transaction on Monad, you need to click here. Okay, which is a setting. So go to settings. 
So in case to perform transaction on monad, you need to make your Uniswap into a testnet mode. You need to run it in a testnet mode. Once you do so, just choose the network which is monad by clicking here and choosing the network from the drop down monad. Once you do so, wait for some time. It will show the balance of monad token in your wallet and you can perform the transaction. Like in my case, let me put 0.001 monad token into USDT. Click on get started. It will give me the balance just like you do swap on Ethereum or any L2 chain. It is pretty easy. Process the transaction and your transaction is recorded. So that's how easy you can interact with Uniswap and any other app on its ecosystem. The second app that I'm going to show you is Bean Exchange. So try it out yourself, Bean Exchange. Swap it here with Monad Balance and do it yourself. And again, do it regularly, do it consistently so that you can push more and more transactions on the Monad ecosystem, which will make you eligible for the airdrop. So this might be V1, there might be V2, which is version 2 of testnet, version 1 of testnet. So again, keep trying it, keep pushing it. And again, that will make you eligible for the airdrop. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. The goal here is to push as many transactions as much possible on the testnet. That's how it is done. So with that, I complete my video. Remember, it's just first day, not even 24 hours. So remember, be patient. Try it after some time. Things will take time but it will work with time. So again, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do like, subscribe, press the bell icon. Do watch the video, share and screen. Let's meet tomorrow in the new video and the new content. Till then, take care. Have a nice day. Thank you.